Hey, you bunch of chicken nuggets out there in McNasty land. Look at this. Nut cert. Today's video, nut certs. What they are, what they do, the purpose of them, how to install them, and the tools you can use to do it. And if you don't have a tool, we're going to show you how to make a handmade one, little homemade ordeal where you don't have to go out and buy a tool if you're in a pinch and you need to install these right away. Okay guys, we're going to start with the very first gun. This is a manual metric nut cert gun. It comes with different arbors, M5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and 12. So you can use any size of that metric nut, nut cert, to put in a hole. This is a metric nut cert gun, what it looks like. It has two handles that come apart and they squish back together. So what you would do is you would spread the handles and on the very threaded tip of the arbor here, you would put your nut cert on. You would insert this into the hole, squeeze the handles together, which is gonna crush that nut cert. And then when the very back here, you can see you can twist this knob. That knob will spin the threads and let you unscrew the threads out of the nut cert. And now you have a nut cert in the actual piece that you're using. So let's show you real quick how to change the arbor in case this comes set up for an M8 and you wanna use an M6 and so on. It's very simple. Just open up the handles and you pop this rear cap right off. It just pulls right off. And then you'll see there's a little silver thread, threaded basically nut. You unscrew this and take it right off. And then the kit will come with a little wrench that you put right on the front here. And you unscrew this black tip. When you unscrew that black tip, this arbor will come right out and it will more or less be real simple. It'll look like this. And there is a spring inside here. Leave the spring inside. So you take that out. You take this arbor you want with the size thread you want. This is the M5. You see the M6 and M5. You slide it back into the tool. You find the correct size end, which is this one right here. It's the M5 and you see it slides right over and it's tight. And you slide that into the tool, keep it open, slide it down. It's gonna be a little pressure on it. You screw it in, you turn it around, you install the silver nut now you can see on the back side there's a small amount of a flat headed thread sticking out. That's about how far you want it to be, about a quarter of an inch. And then once you get to that point, you take your plastic handle. Your plastic handle on the inside has a flat area as well. The flat area goes on to this flat area and that's what allows it to turn. So you kind of push it down, see it's just sitting there, now you spin it until it lines up and push it in. That's it. That's how to change the arbors on this setup here. Very simple, and now we're gonna show you how it works. M6 nut sir. The flat flange piece is gonna go down towards the, towards the gun. You start screwing it on. You open the handles up. So open your handles and screw the nut cert till it's just about threads are just about to the end of the nut cert. You see it there. Now if you let go of the handle, you're gonna see the handles don't close all the way. The handle isn't open. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna squish the handles together. So let me show you what happens when you squish the handle together. See it already collapse in the nut cert? See the bulge in the nut cert? Now I'm gonna, I, I, cause I only pushed it a little bit. We're gonna go a little further now. There. Now you can see 
The camera's gonna focus the best it can focus, I don't know. You can see the difference in the nut certs. It crushed that area. Now your piece of metal will be in between that flange and that crushed area, and it'll lock it into place. Now that this piece is in your metal, all you do is on the opposite side, you start twisting this handle. As you twist the handle, it's going to unthread the nut cert. See it unthreading? And this piece, crushed insert, oh you can see it really crushed now. This crushed insert will be inside your metal and it'll stay in your metal. Now we're going to actually show you the difference between the two. This is the crushed one. This is the one that's not. So that's how to use the manual. That's how to use the manual. The next one is one-way air powered. This is an Astro one-way. We're gonna show you a, a close-up over here on how that works as well. First thing you wanna do with everything is, at least on this one, is if you're gonna, you have to drill a hole wherever you're gonna put this. If you're gonna drill a hole, it has to be the same size as the body. It can't be bigger and have a whole bunch of slop, and obviously if it's too small, it's not gonna go in. So it needs to be the same exact size as the body. This is a 25 64 drill bit. So it's the exact size of the body of this nut cert, which means when it slides in, it's gonna slide in nice and tight, and when you crush it, it's gonna make a lip on the backside. So we're gonna show you real quick how this one works. Very simple, all you do is pull the trigger. So you can see our threaded arbor on this one. Thread the nut cert onto the tool. Then you are going to slide it onto the bracket. So we are in our hole. See it is the exact same size, there's no room. And all we do at this point is we pull this trigger. One time, it's gonna crush it in instantly. Are you ready? That's it. Now we have a threaded insert, and you same with this one. It has a handle in the back. Well, actually, we welded this on, but it has the round handle in the back, and you unthread it. And as you unthread it, oh, I, well, I added this so it makes it faster. And now we have a crushed insert in the metal. So why would you want to use this? So any area you have where you can't get to the backside and put a nut, if, just say, well, I'm going to say, just a car door. A car door on old school mirrors on pickup trucks. They used to put the mirrors on the outside. They would take and drill a hole in the door, slide one of these inserts and crush it, and now you can bolt the mirror on and off the door. You can't get to the back side to get a nut onto it. So there's a lot of reasons why you would want to, uh, you know, obviously use a nut cert, and they're very handy. Okay, guys, on to the last nut cert gun. This is a very expensive nut cert gun. This is an Atlas. This is a push-pull nut cert gun. So what they what the push-pull nut cert gun is, you just take the nut cert and you push it onto the threads. It feels the tension and automatically sucks it on. You pull the trigger just like you pulled the trigger on the last air. You pull it and it'll crush it. And then you hit this red button right here and it'll reverse the threads. So you can push it on with one hand, put it in a hole, pull the trigger, pull the red button, and release it all within about three seconds. This is about a $3,800 gun, so it's very expensive. This one here is about $240 from Astro. You can pick those up real cheap, and the manual one that we showed you in the beginning is about $72. And for all you chicken nuggets out there that don't have any tools, I told you I'll show you how to make one by hand for somebody that doesn't have time to go find a tool or can't find a tool right away or is waiting for one to come in the mail you can make one by hand. So, what you wanna do is you wanna get yourself whatever size nut cert you're using, quarter inch, if you're using American, nut, uh, M6 if you're using obviously metric, you wanna find the same size bolt with a good threaded area on it. And you want a strong bolt, you want a grade eight, a grade 10, a grade 11, 12, whatever you can find, you want the strongest bolt you can because it puts a lot of pressure on it. So all you do, very simple, get yourself a nut and a bolt. Very simple, slide the nut all the way until it stops at the very end of the threads. I use two washers. I slide two washers on, 
And then I take the nut cert and I put the nut cert on. That is your nut cert tool. Very simple. So all you do with this one is you manually do it with two wrenches. You take this nut cert. You would slide it in the hole of the material you're using. Slide it into your hole. You would put one wrench on the bottom nut and you would hold this one still. You don't move this one at all. And then with the other wrench, you would tighten the top one up. So as you tighten, you're holding this bottom one so it doesn't move. So this one does not move. You're only tightening the top one. And as you tighten this top one, and it's hard, you gotta twist it and twist it. It's hard, you gotta put leverage on it. Use much longer wrenches than what I'm showing you here. I mean, you can use these wrenches too. You could do whatever you wanna do, but the longer the wrench, easier it's gonna be. So all you do is you tighten up the actual bolt itself, and as you tighten the bolt up, it's going to crush the nut, sir. You don't gotta go crazy. You just gotta get it to crush and into the, uh, into the actual piece of metal you're using, you'll know, you'll get it. And if it's not quite tight enough and you put a, uh, a bolt in there and you tighten it tight enough and it seems like it's turning a little bit, you can do the same trick. Pull the pot back off. Don't drop your bracket on the floor. Slide your bolt back in with your nut on it and do the same thing. Hold the nut, tighten the bolt a little bit more and it'll crush it even more and, and tighter into that piece of metal. So that's a very simple homemade free nut cert tool there it is that's focused <laughs> it's focused nice now so there you go guys that's how to make one and install it for free so i'm going to show you over here really quick how the this is the one that we most commonly use in the shop because the other one's too expensive to let employees just basically drop it and break it it's hard to get pots for these are cheap and they're actually strong so this is what i have all the employees using in the shop i'm going to give you a close-up over here and show you exactly how this works So you can see how fast that works. And this is one of our upper brackets for the Ford Super Duty conversions. You see it's got four holes in it. Very simple. And we added this longer bracket on the top here so we can unscrew it a lot faster and easier than sitting there with just our fingers and spinning, spinning, spinning. It actually cramps your hands up when you're trying to do a ton of them. Put your nut cert back on. Slide it in the hole, pull the trigger, done. Okay, so now you can see the flange is sitting on top of the hole in the piece. And you can see the area is crushed from the bottom, squishing it in. And now at this point, it doesn't really matter. You take any bolt, and now you can bolt a piece on. So if this back side was impossible to get to, and it was just on the side of something or inside a closed boxed area. So on the side-by-sides, we give a lot of them out so you can put them inside the frame. So the round tube on the frame, you just drill a hole in it, put it in, and now you have a threaded insert. There's no way to get a nut on the back side of it. So there you guys have it, McNasty 101 nut certs. So we supply a lot of these nut certs in the, uh, in the products that we sell, so a lot of customers and so on. So now you can understand what these nut certs do, how to use them, what tools to buy and so on, what you need to may possibly buy or borrow, rent, or if you could just make the homemade tool yourself as long as it gets away with it. So we're trying to bring you more content, a little bit of tips and tricks and show you stuff that we know and so on. So guys, please help grow this channel. Like, subscribe, comment below. It helps us. And uh, remember one thing, ladies, McNasty rules.